Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to show you two fragrances, two scents from the House of Fragrance world that are clones but at the same time that are not really clones. The first one is called Volute Intense and this one comes from Fragrance World themselves and the other one is called Zachariot. It looks like this and this actually comes from a sub-brand of uh, Fragrance World that's called Atur Al Alam. So join me in this video today so I can tell you more about these two scents. First I'm going to show you and talk about uh, the one fragrance uh, that I find a little bit less interesting, uh, you know, at least uh, for me it is uh, it's the Atur Al Alam Zachariot. The fragrance comes packaged in this silver and black uh, colored box. On the front you got uh, the name of the fragrance. Uh, on the back you got the name of the company, a sticker of authenticity, some additional information. On the bottom there's a production date which uh, says uh, June of 2023. In order to get uh, to the bottle you need to uh, open up the box like this. What's interesting is that inside here you'll find uh, a little scroll that has uh, some message written but I think it's in Arabic so uh, unfortunately I cannot read it to you and uh, translate it and then once you uh, you know take out the bottle this is how the bottle looks again you get uh, the name of the fragrance you get a plastic cap which is a sort of a snug fit um, it has nice heft to it the bottle size here is 100 milliliters the concentration is um, EDP the note breakdown of a Zachariot from Atur Al Alam has the following notes. The top notes are apple, bergamot, cardamom, green, lav green lavender and lemon. The middle notes are cashmere, cedar, elemi, incense, walnut and black pepper. And the base notes are amber, amber grease, benzoin, coconut and vanilla. I'll show the spirit in action of a Zachariot and then I'll talk about the scent of this fragrance. The spirit is actually pretty pretty good feels almost as if uh, it's uh, kind of pressurized. And now onto the scent of this fragrance. This fragrance opens up uh, pretty sweet uh, right from uh, the first spray that uh, you spray this one on. It uh, opens up with a lot of sweetness, a lot of tonka bean and vanilla sweetness, amber sweetness. There's a hint of a sort of a citrusy, uh, you know, freshness in the opening of this one with also a hint of spiciness. But uh, for me, the main players here are the you know, the sweet notes, the vanilla, the uh, amber and the tonka bean. As I said uh, in the opening of this video, this and the other fragments that I'm going to show, both of them uh, feel like they're clones, but the at the same time they feel like uh, they're not really clones. And I'm going to tell you what I mean. In the case of Zachariah, this fragrance uh, opens up uh, pretty similar to something uh, like uh, Invictus from uh, Paco Rabanne, Invictus Victory to be more specific. Also it's quite similar to Bad Boy from uh, Carolina Herrera, although in my opinion this is closer to the uh, Paco Rabanne fragrance. But this feels uh, sweeter compared to both of them. The, the original fragrances they have more of an aromatic touch to them, uh, whereas uh, Zachariot uh, feels uh, uh, quite a lot uh, sweeter and more intense. When this fragrance goes into the dry down, you lose all of the, you know, the the uh, freshness that you had in the opening, uh, no matter how uh, small it was. Uh, also, you lose all the spiciness and the dry down becomes even sweeter. And in the dry down is where the coconut, uh, coconut note starts to become really prominent. And this really becomes a, a very, very sweet fragrance uh, with uh, the main player on the dry down here being the vanilla sweetness. Oh, you know, it's a very interesting uh, fragrance that uh, feels like a clone and at the same time feels uh, like a totally different creation. The uh, inclusion here of the coconut note and the sort of the less uh, aromatic notes uh, make it uh, very similar to uh, Invictus Victory and at the same time quite different. To be honest, for my nose, this is a little bit too intense, especially in the opening, a little bit too sweet uh, and uh, I'm not really a huge fan of the opening. The dry down is more, uh, you know, you know, I like the dry down better compared to the opening. When it comes to performance, Zachary turned out to be a very good performer. I've been getting at least eight hours of performance out of this fragrance with pretty loud projection in the first hour and a half up to two hours. So performance wise, there are there are absolutely no issues with the Zachariot. When it comes to the price tag, I paid about 25 euros to get this fragrance. 
I'll uh, include the links uh, you know in the description of this video where I got it for that uh, price and in my opinion you know at that price point it's a pretty decent deal considering that this has nice quality you know sort of a likable sweet scent profile that's a uh, mass pleasing and uh, also comes uh, pretty nicely packaged and when it comes to versatility I think this is an all year uh, round scent uh, maybe except for the hottest months of the year where I think this will be just uh, will feel just a bit uh, too sweet but other than that it's quite a versatile fragrance that can be worn you know throughout the day throughout the night maybe leaning a little bit more up to the night time and now it's time to talk about the second fragrance featured in today's video which is called Volute Intense uh, from Fragrance World. The fragrance comes packaged in this uh, sort of a dark brown colored box with some silver accents. On the front you got the name of the fragrance, uh, the Fragrance World uh, logo, the concentration which is EDP, the bottle size which is 80 milliliters in this case. On the back you got some additional information, a sticker of authenticity. On the bottom there's a production date stamped on which reads, uh, if I can see it correctly because it's uh, pretty vague, but I think it's uh, July of 2021 so it's quite an old bottle there's this thing that was glued on here at the front but unfortunately it uh, fell off just like it did right now in order to get to the bottle you need to slide uh, the you know both parts of the box like this and once you do this is how the bottle looks it has a sort of an okayish uh, design feels uh, quite uh, nice in hand the cap is, uh, I think, is plastic, but it has a metallic coating. It's a very snug fit, so it's not a problem to pick up the bottle through the cap. The note breakdown of Volute Intense that I was able to find online has the following notes. Uh, the top notes are caramel, spices and fruity notes. Uh, then you get to the middle notes, which are rose, white flowers and powdery notes. And the base notes are vanilla, amber and musk. I'll show the spur in action, then I'll tell you about the scent of uh, Volute Intense. The spur here is uh, a little bit, uh, you know, less good compared to the Zachariot one that I just showed you. And now onto the scent of uh, Volute Intense. Again, like with the Zachariot from Atur Al Alam, this fragrance is a clone and at the same time feels like uh, its own creation. The opening here. It's uh, very sweet and at the same time very heavy on the rose note. The rose note is uh, one of the main players uh, when it comes to this fragrance. It's a sweet uh, jammy type of rose note. Um, you get some uh, maybe a hint of uh, you know freshness in the opening. Uh, also quite a lot of ambery and vanilla sweetness uh, as soon as you spray this thing. I don't pick up any spices whatsoever and also I pick up another note which is not listed and that's the note of uh, tobacco it's not super strong but i definitely pick up a tobacco note in here there's uh, some green notes uh, here maybe a jasmine note again adding a sort of a floral touch uh, to this fragrance but the opening kiss feels like a very sweet jammy type of uh, rose note that's mixed uh, with uh, a hint of citruses a hint of uh, fresh notes a hint of uh, floral notes and a tobacco note when this goes into the dry down it becomes even sweeter you lose all the freshness uh, from the opening that you get uh, and the dry down, there's vanilla, there's amber, there's tobacco, the rose is still there, it's um, the main player of this fragrance. And uh, this is where, especially on the dry down, this is where this feels uh, very close to a few uh, you know, other fragrances. The first one that comes to mind when I, uh, the, I sprayed for the first time this fragrance was Atomic Rose by Initio. If you're not familiar with that fragrance, maybe you're familiar with uh, its clone from Mason Alhambra, which is called uh, Infinity Rose. Pretty much uh, Volute Intense is very similar to that fragrance because it relies heavily on the rose note. But this is like a more uh, sort of a sweeter and more masculine take on that DNA because this has more vanilla and ambery sweetness and also with the inclusion of the tobacco note in here just makes this a little bit darker and maybe makes it a little bit more masculine in my opinion. So not a direct clone of Atomic Rose, uh, but uh, feels like it's been heavily inspired by that fragrance. When it comes to performance, Volute Intense, again, like with uh, Zachariot, uh, didn't disappoint me at all. This fragrance also is pretty strong. Uh, it has been giving me so far some, somewhere between eight and nine hours of performance with pretty loud projection in the first two hours, as you would expect uh, from a fragrance that's uh, heavily based on the rose note. When it comes to the price tag, I paid about 20 euros to get the Volute Intense which I think is actually a pretty pretty good deal because I've been really enjoying uh, this fragrance. Versatility wise, uh, as I said, this is a slightly more masculine take on the Atomic Rose DNA, although I still think it's uh, 
pretty pretty much almost perfectly unisex can be worn by uh, you know both girls and boys without any problem and so on to my final thoughts about Zachariot from Atur Al Alam and uh, Volute Intense from Fragrance World. As I said in the beginning of this video, both of them feel like uh, a clones and at the same time like feel like clone fragrances and at the same time feel like they're their own creations. When it comes to Zachariot, this is a fragrance that's been heavily inspired by something like Karina Hero's Bad Boy or uh, Invictus Victory from uh, the House of Paco Rabanne. Although this feels like a slightly sweeter, not slightly, but a more intense and sweeter take on the, you know, that DNA. So if you enjoy those fragrances, then I'll definitely think that uh, you enjoy Zachariot. When it comes to Volute Intense, this again feels like a fragrance that's been heavily inspired by Atomic Rose from Initial in this case, but this feels more like a masculine take on the that DNA. It feels uh, less uh, sort of a fresh and floral, feels a little bit uh, darker, a little bit sweeter, and I pick up a very nice tobacco note in here that just uh, makes it a little bit more masculine. Both of them have pretty good performance, uh, both of them uh, have been really uh, good when it comes to the performance. Both of them are cheap, come nicely packaged and have good quality. At the end of the day, Zachariot is a good fragrance and I'm not really a huge fan of that DNA but I cannot deny the fact that it's done pretty nicely and I actually uh, like a lot, uh, you know, Volute Intense. I like the original fragrance from uh, Initio, I like the uh, Infinity Rose clone from uh, Mason Alhambra and I've been really enjoying Volute Intense from Fragrance World. And so guys, in today's video I showed you two very interesting scents from Fragrance World. Zachariot, which actually comes from a Fragrance World sub-brand called Atur Al Alam and Volute Intense. I hope that you found this video interesting, if you did, give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me in the next one. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.